Hello, my name is Swissbianco. In this video I will talk about an older Gerber knife. It's a Blackie Collins design. Uh, unfortunately this one did not come with the box. It's a, a used knife but in a absolute great uh, condition. Uh, back then they did make some of the Gerber knives uh, in Italy that did fade away pretty fast uh, because the, the price was too high uh, so those Italian made uh, variations from Gerber are pretty pretty uh, rare or more on the rare side compared to what is now made in China and all that uh, they also did at least some example made in uh, Germany but then switch to cheaper uh, places uh, that apparently did happen a lot with the uh, Gerber in the in the past. I saw that with a uh, multi tool as well uh, that had a good quality, and then I got me a second one. The second did not have the the quality from the first anymore. Anyways, uh, this is a one piece stainless steel design. Uh, Blackie Collins had some great approaches in his lifetime for different uh, designs and ideas and uh, this one is no exception. Uh, what we see in the middle is the big uh, clip that is not in use for uh, clip the, the knife uh, itself on a, on a belt or something like that. That is in conjunction with the sheet. The sheet design we see we have the the sheet already with a with a bell clip attached on it we see those square holes and the knife uh, simply interlocks with the sheet with that big clip that we have in the middle so as we see there how that how that opens up and then it snaps into the the place so that's a really clever design of the of the idea how to use a clip and of course it will work on both sides you can uh, use that on both sides as long as you have the hole here to take the knife out you simply need to press a little bit in the middle and uh, remove the tension of the clip to take the to take the knife out uh, that was also a good uh, safety mechanism uh, in case you were on a boat or uh, other sporting activities that uh, the knife would not fall out by itself. It can go in by itself with uh, the clip without pushing on the clip but for take it out you need to press the middle part in to actually take it out release it from the sheet. So that's a pretty good idea. Uh, they made some different variations of that knife design. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this is not the Dogger variation. It's a single edge uh, version, partly serrated, fully flat ground uh, blade. Quality of the knife is absolute great. I like it. There is not much uh, to say about it in a negative way. Uh, back then, uh, they did not round off the outside edge, it's such just a flat uh, millet as it is. Uh, that's the only only part that could be improved uh, if they would make uh, such a design uh, our days now to mill that in a, in a rounded off uh, way. So that would be more comfortable in your hand as well. Uh, the size and all is pretty, pretty good. Uh, they... The clip is non-removable. It is uh, with that lanyard hole, uh, A-let design, uh, stainless steel rivet uh, put on so you can't remove the clip and still have a lanyard hole there. Uh, because of the design you cannot wrap the, the handle with a paracord or something that would uh, cover up the, the middle part here. So that's, that's a, a bit of uh, a difficulty there but other than that it's for sure a nice piece and uh, a collectible by now especially in that nice uh, condition that we have have it here uh, it's an older knife uh, long out of production 
Uh, in USA you can find such knives from time to time on eBay if collectors uh, resell uh, uh, pieces like that but uh, it's not going to be cheap unless you find really a, a deal so that much on that older Gerber design from Blackie Collins